this short video is going to quickly walk through a storage migration. So in my environment, I've got Active Directory users and computers started. I'm going to right click one of my Hyper-V servers. And under delegation, you can see I've already got constrained delegation for KIFs to my file server. This will allow me to remotely initiate a storage migration where the target is a share on this file server. On the Hyper-V side, I can see my configurations through Hyper-V settings. And you can see I've got it configured for two simultaneous migrations. Now the actual kickoff process is really simple. I can right click and say move. I want to just move the storage. And here I can say, do I want to move it all to a single location? In which case it's just going to prompt me for that single location. I can say, move each of the elements to a different location. So here it's going to prompt me for where each hard drive should move, where the config should move, the snapshots and the smart paging, or just move the virtual hard disks, believe the configuration, smart paging and snapshots where they are. So I have that choice from the GUI. And I can do exactly the same thing from PowerShell. So I'm actually going to kick this off just using PowerShell. So I can see here I've got this move storage, scratch 2012, actually clear this a little bit. So I'll kick this off. So now if I actually go and look, I'll see that migration process over here. So it's moving that storage. If I go and look on the file system of the target, we see it's now created the folders and it's going to start populating those hard disks. So it's copying the content over. And again, it's mirroring all those changes as they're happening. I can also check that status from PowerShell. So I can actually go in here and I'm going to look at the namespace for the MSVM migration job. And if I run this command here, you can see it's running and I can see that percentage completed. All the while, that VM is unaffected. It's this scratch 22. I can go into this VM, I can log in, use it. There's no actual impact on utilizing this during the storage migration and no downtime. So that would just run and complete. If I wanted to, I can cancel this, right click and cancel. Again, no adverse side effects. And there it's done. And if I went and look at the PowerShell again, I would now see the job has been canceled. So that concludes this very quick video on storage migration.